Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Stay Fitness channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniela and I help women gain to know their hormones in order to achieve optimal health and body composition. I also cook a lot of many meat-based, animal-based, carnivore keto recipes. So if you want to have a look, um, then <laughs> what I meant to say is that I really recommend you go and have a look and consider subscribing. But if you're already subscribed, subscribe, then you're back, then welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today it's a little bit different. It's the first time I'm doing this kind of video. So let me know in the comments below if this is something you enjoy, something you find value in, I can make more. Uh, it's a video of how I eat, uh, so why I eat, how I train in a typical week. Uh, so let's start with food um, So I'm not gonna show you like every day because my days are pretty standard definitely uh, Breakfast and lunch are every day the same. So I start my day by having four scrambled eggs with loads of butter. I cook in this pan. I wanted to give a special mention to my pan which I bought all these honestly like 10 quid or so super cheap and i don't know like it's cast iron but it's not the cast iron that you have to keep re-seasoning but at the same time it doesn't have like a ceramic coating so i have no idea how they made this pan i scrub like i wash it with like a metal sponge and all that it doesn't get scratched it keeps it's still perfect i washed it like a gazillion times by now and it's um yeah it's amazing if if I, I they had also like a griddle pan if i see again if you see this pan buy it it's amazing but yeah so i scrambled i scrambled four eggs with loads of butter and salt and then i have a whey protein shake made with um Jersey milk, which is a two, which I is amazing. I suppose if I have lactose intolerance, and I can perfectly digest Jersey milk, like even better than goat milk or lactose free milk, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, pretty standard every single day. I used to also have the carnival bread, the one that I just showed you is on my channel recently. Um, I just run out of it and um, I usually take a break from this red. like I made it like four times in a row so now I'm happy to have a little bit of a break for a while um, so yeah this is my breakfast every single day and then oh yeah then I have a Earl Grey tea which is my one pleasure um, with a teaspoon of honey and then I'm off to the gym I usually have clients before my breakfast and then breakfast and then I go to the gym um, so we'll do food first and I'll do the working out so then when I come back from the gym I have lunch again super sound I usually have one beef burger patties then I have some charcuterie because it's nice and fresh and now it's hot so I don't want to eat too much hot food some cheese and then I cut one tomato just for a bit of freshness which helps me a lot with like like pregnancy and not being able to eat that much like hot food like it helps me clean my palate from bite to bite um, and I'm doing this salmon burger thing that I found but it's not like a typical thing it's just I found them and I'm eating them otherwise it, like it could be like some leftovers from dinner or something else and always quite cut like just meat and some bone broth and that and then because I had them ready, I had this beautiful, the my angel um, food cakes with cream on top and then I sliced a peach as a dessert. I mean, look how amazing it looks like. I mean, it's so delicious. If you haven't made them yet, go and make some. And then dinner again. Uh, so now dinner is not usually so. Dinner is like, only for if you want to call it because um, I usually cook for bo both me and my partner and I usually cook things that are a bit more like exciting let's say a bit more different it would be maybe Mexican one day maybe um, Korean one day Turkish one day and just stuff like that uh, pretty always meat heavy like always focus on the protein always first thing I think about is the meat and then the I add whatever I want basically so I call this the meal my like the meal that I eat for myself like I eat all this meat 
all these eggs because not because I have to but because I know it's amazing for me um, it's amazing for the, my pregnancy but like what my taste buds wants is different so I allow myself something something a bit more indulgent some potatoes some rice but always 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 protein first like in this this dinner for instance I made some meatballs so I added some protein sparing bread some milk egg a little bit of liver and I made like beef meatballs which I fried in some lard um, and I had them with some um, air fried kind of roasted potatoes that pre-boiled and then added lots of butter and lard and salt at the end they were so crisp and delicious so the meatballs tasted like liver i hate it uh, but i know it's good for me so i hate them and then i treated myself to some potatoes um and yeah i don't snack nothing extra than this uh, tonight I'm making, which I'm gonna show you on the camera, I hope I remember to film, I hope, I don't make promises, I'm making like a Vietnamese salad with loads of yummy pork and then some like carrots, um, cucumber, some herbs, so yeah again like they're not even remotely I'm not gonna say it's carnivore or anything like that of course but it's still heavily meat based with some something to treat myself with, something for freshness uh, and yeah, something to keep keep variety basically. So basically this is how I eat the whole week Then weekends might be a bit more indulgent but it's just I keep a good balance. Um, I like, because I've been doing this for quite a while, I can like honestly say when I'm like going overboard with carbs i need to take it back a little bit at the beginning of the pregnancy i was really overdoing it and then i just turned it down a notch and find a way to be balanced and like i don't mind doing almost 100 percent carnivore breakfast and lunch but i know the dinner needs to be a bit more like something more and that's my way of doing it if you like you don't need to compare yourself to me this is just my way i don't have any sooner resistance anymore i've lost the weight so it's just this is where i'm at now but let's talk about workouts which is my favorite uh no well why am i saying food is my favorite working out i love it but i don't love it as much as food so i work out, i go to the gym four times a week i lift weights i do monday i do hamstrings and glutes Wednesday I do back, then Thursday I do chest tricep shoulders and Friday I do quads and calves. So that's my schedule, I keep lifting, no, even though I'm pregnant, doesn't stop, I keep lifting, that makes me feel so much better than if I don't. Um, and then, not this week, because it's been a bit crazy, had other stuff on but usually I would go for one long walk like one two hour walk to like a park or something like that and I do one yoga session at home uh, just YouTube because it helps me stay limber helps me like open up like I've got such tight body from all this lifting I don't do enough recovery so yeah usually it would be like this I try I don't always succeed <laughs> um and yeah that's that's it basically i this is super real this is how it is i'm not hiding anything i'm not making it look better than what it is this is how it is basically um and yeah i allow myself the you know the occasional pizza the occasional pasta like i'm not here to be religiously carnivore religiously anything i think like it doesn't work for me i need flexibility i need i need yeah i think food is such an like it's amazing um and yeah you have to find your own balance as long as it keeps you healthy keeps you going like i'm a pretty active person it's different than if you are super sedentary um so yeah it's it, like you have to get you know your body you have like to know your limits of how much you can like wiggle in the you know foods that you shouldn't be really eating spectrum uh but yeah 
I'm not gonna keep it too serious, so this was just to show you a little bit of like the behind the scenes of how I eat and how I train. And as I said before, please let me know in the comments below if you find value, if you have any more questions, if you wanna know more about something, do let me know, because I can make a video about it. Uh, the more you let me know, the more I can like um, customize my content to your needs. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Go check out the rest of my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.